let's show you how to install a fresh open car 3 store and begin your new e-commerce journey. Hi and welcome to a new tutorial brought to you by Isense Labs in cooperation with OpenCart. So there are a few steps to installing a new store using OpenCart. First, you need to get a hosting provider. And since most hosting providers work with a cPanel, we'll be using it for our tutorial. Step 1. Create your database. Once you have access to your domain via cPanel, you need to create a database where you will store the files of your OpenCart site. To do that, go to MySQL Databases. Give your new database a name and hit the Create Database button. Now, it will show up in your database list. Next step is to create a user and assign it to the database so you have control over it. We already have our users created and this is how you assign it to the database. Now hit the add button and then assign all the privileges for the database to your user. Next stop is hitting the make changes button and we're ready to move on. Step number two, upload your open card. To upload your files, you first need to download them. Go to opencard.com and click on the free download button. Next, click the download now and get the latest version of the platform. Now the OpenCart files are on your computer. Go back to your cPanel and find the file manager app. Open it and you will get access to all the files on your server. The folder you need is public HTML. Open it and create a new folder inside your new OpenCart website. Give it a name of your choice and open it. While you're there, click the upload button and find the OpenCart zip you just downloaded. Once it's uploaded, select the zip and click the extract button. This will unzip all the files inside in your folder. Next, you will see a lot of files and we will just delete them and leave the folder called upload. Now, when you enter the domain of your store in your web browser, it will be looking for the files directly in the folder you created in the public HTML. In our case, we named the folder OpenCart. So, you need to move the content of your upload folder to the OpenCart folder. But before that, a few tiny details. You need to rename a couple of files. Remove the .txt part from your htaccess file. Remove the dist part from your config.php file and do the same for the one in the admin folder. Now, what you need to do is select all the files. You can simply drag and drop them into your main site folder just like that. Now, go back and you can just delete the upload folder. Ok, so we're ready to move on to the next step. Step 3. Install OpenCart. To finally install your OpenCart store, Enter your site domain in the browser. This should automatically open the installer. First step, here is the license agreement. When you're ready, click continue. Second step is checking if all the server settings are ok. If everything's in the green, you're good to go. We click continue. And we're almost done. Third step is to configure your database details. The most important things here are the username you have set for the database user, your password and the name of your database. Finally, you need to configure your admin username and password for the OpenCart store. 
Once you're done with that, click continue to finish the process. And here we are, our new OpenCart store is installed. If you notice the notifications here, don't worry, we'll get to that in a second. Now you can log in to your administration with the credentials you just created in the last installation step. You will see a pop-up asking you to move your storage directory outside of your web directory for security reasons. Give the new storage directory a name here and it will be automatically created and populated when you click the move button. And now one last final thing. Go back to the file manager in your cPanel and delete your install folder from the store files. This is also a security measure which was suggested by the wording notification after you installed your store. Once you do this, you are all set to start setting up your store, fill it with products and start customizing it to your liking. Check out our other video tutorials for getting started with a new website theme and many more tips on setting up and growing your OpenCart store. Okay, well that was it for today. Give us a like if this video helped you and subscribe for more OpenCar 3 tutorials. Thanks for watching.